what's a day or a week like with multiple sclerosis? I haven't had a bath in a week. I haven't eaten since Thursday. That's multiple sclerosis. Uh, which one should we pick? Hereditary hemochromatosis, chronic costochondritis, narcolepsy, or multiple sclerosis? Let's shoot them all down. The most devastating year in world history during the last century was this year. Okay? Imagine we're having a world war with COVID-19 because that's what was going on. The Spanish influenza was killing millions and millions of people and guys in the trenches. But if you do tune in, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening to what I had to say. And I'm hoping to feel better sooner than later. I have progressive, primary progressive multiple sclerosis, which means I'm not going to get better. There is no cure. I'm going to continue to progress and deteriorate every day until I'm gone. The funny thing is, is um, the irony is, is that multiple sclerosis isn't even my most dangerous illness. Hemochromatosis says hemochromatosis could kill me right now before I finish this flight. My shelf life on my liver was 2013. The only reason I'm still alive is because I eat a very strict diet and I have for 15 years. When you, now given that fact, most people with hemo don't make it past 65. I was born with it. And then on top of that, when you're diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, you automatically lose seven years off your life. So how long do I have to go? I should be able to eat tonight. I have to eat something. I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten since Thursday night at this time, so it's been 48 hours since I've eaten. So I'll have to eat something tonight. I'm below 150 pounds now. And deteriorating alone. And I have been for three years. Sometimes your family only turn out to be relatives and your friends turn out to be your family. And if you're lucky enough to have friends that are family, even if your family are only relatives, you're a lucky number indeed. If I'm chilling by myself late at night, narcolepsy's kicking my ass, hemochromatosis, costochondritis, and then that fancy MS stuff, I'm up in the middle of the night for a little while. I'd like to cruise around and fly and take my time. Hope you guys had a good day. And guys, I have some new videos on my um, Daryl Tungit YouTube channel that has a lot more of my MS stuff. And um, if you're interested in what's going on with me and my health and that sort of thing, tune into that channel for my latest videos. I'm pretty sick. I've been pretty sick for a couple of days. Um, you know, I've lost over a hundred pounds just sitting here this year. I feel like I'm paralyzed. Every square inch of me. Yesterday I didn't eat because I couldn't make myself a meal. I have food. I'm physically unable. And that's what disabled is. Disability awareness message of the day. If you're a United States citizen, I would imagine in every state, if you scream and yell at a disabled person, you're looking at federal jail time. Don't raise your voice to a disabled person. You may do jail, counseling, and public service. Most people don't act on them. They blow it off. Yep, I'm drinking coffee at 8.30. Welcome to the world of narcolepsy, which honestly, 
coffee doesn't affect the doggone thing. I'll pass out right in the chair whether I drink a gallon of coffee or not. It sure does feel good in the morning, though. The only reason that I sleep a normal night is because of THC, and that's it. If I didn't have THC, I would my sleeping would be so erratic, it'd put you in a rubber room. It almost did put me in a rubber room. You sleep two hours on, you sleep two hours off. Forever. Me, that lasted for 10 months. Two hours on, two hours off. I saw two people that whole year. I'm starting to wake up a little bit. When I started this recording, this broadcast, I was just waking up from a narcolepsy episode. And I hope to see you all live on Twitch sooner than later. I'm hoping that I will be feeling better sooner than later. So, I hope you guys are playing some awesome freaking games this weekend, you guys. And I hope your games, whatever you may be gaming, have a little bit of history in them. And so, my friends, if you guys stay tuned for this end message for the Multiple Sclerosis Society, the National Multiple Sclerosis Society, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And sleep deep, rest well, and dream interesting dreams, all of you guys everywhere. Warlord over and out. And I hope to see you guys on Twitch tomorrow on Sunday. Rest well, my friends. Please be safe. Hope to hear from you. Hope you guys are doing well. Multiple sclerosis is a disease that impacts the brain and spinal cord, which make up the central nervous system that controls everything we do, whether it's taking a physical step or solving a complex problem. The exact cause of MS is unknown, but we do know that something triggers the immune system to attack the brain and spinal cord. The resulting damage to myelin that insulates wire-like nerve fibers is a disruption of signals to and from the brain. This interruption of communication signals causes unpredictable symptoms such as numbness, tingling, mood changes, memory problems, pain, fatigue, blindness, or paralysis. Everyone's experience with MS is different, and these losses may be temporary or long-lasting. Most people initially have relapsing remitting MS, where they experience attacks of new symptoms followed by periods of time when those symptoms go away partially or completely. Others experience gradual and ongoing loss of function without distinct attacks, which is known as progressive MS. MS can be difficult to diagnose, but once a diagnosis is confirmed by a neurologist who is knowledgeable about MS, there are disease-modifying therapies for reducing attacks and slowing down the damage. Growing evidence suggests that early and ongoing treatment with a disease-modifying therapy is an important defense against future attacks. There are also treatment strategies to address some MS symptoms. Options are still limited for slowing down or stopping progressive MS. Worldwide research is accelerating the discovery of how to slow down or even stop progressive MS, how to repair nervous system damage and restore function, wellness strategies such as exercise and diet that can help people with MS to live their best lives, and the exact cause of MS so that it may be prevented for future generations. To learn more about multiple sclerosis, connect with others to drive research for a cure, and to address the challenges of everyone affected by MS, visit nationalmssociety.org or call 1-800-344-4867.